Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So here in this clip, um, he talks about LGBTQ in America, right? That's something very specific. And now watch, uh, if you look here, let me show you. So this this channel, I don't know like who it is, but uh, you may know who this channel is. It's probably this one with Salafi, right? I'll show you why it's Salafi. But anyway, it says Yasika agrees politically with the LGBTQ and their movement. This is incorrect the way they phrased it. This is like a slander. I'll tell you why it's a slander. He doesn't agree with the movement itself. He does not agree with it. Like, uh, he's not saying, okay, you guys are doing a good thing morally. What he was talking about was something else. But let, let's click on the channel. Let's see if it's a Salafi channel or not. Or am I, am I mistaken? Oh, yes, it is. The creed and the methodology of a Salaf. A Salih. Then you can see uh, Abu Khadija. <laughs> so you see the likes of these guys. And then you see the eyes covered, you know, you know definitely who that is. <laughs> Anyhow, like I said, these guys are like very, the tendencies are very extreme. Look, they cross it out and stuff. Ajeeb, ajeeb. I think they they cross the other doctor's dark night out as well. <laughs> ajeeb. Uh, okay, so let's go through this video and let's, I'll, I'll explain to you why this is not, he's not endorsing... Um, LGBTQ um, He's completely against it Now let's have a listen to it By the way this box here on the face of Linda Is done by them But anyhow let's continue I will say this about American Muslims There has not been any coordinated, coordinated campaign Oppositional to the Supreme Court um, decision for same sex marriage This is a civil rights issue we have no place as American Muslims targeted in the United States of America to oppose another marginalized group in this country, which includes LGBTQ communities. I think what the conversation around same-sex marriage uh, opens in the Muslim community that we don't have, we don't even have this conversation, is that we do have people in our community. We can't be like Ahmadi Janad and say we don't have gay Muslims. We do have. How do we integrate them into a conversation? How do we create the spaces to bring them closer to Islam, for example? We need to make sure that everyone's included. I would say I'm one of the very few clerics that have very publicly said that people who have whatever personal issues that they have, whether it's same sex, whether it's drugs, whether it's alcohol, it's not our right to judge them. They are welcome in our communities. Would you tell them not to come to the masjid? You'd be happy. Yeah. Coming to so that here, he is talking about look, same-sex uh, intimacy is a sin. <clears throat> as long as you don't believe in istihlal, you don't make it halal. It's a sin by default. And uh, he, and he compared it with alcohol and other sins. So that's correct for comparison because they're all sins. So everyone has their own struggles. If 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 a person has a struggle of homosexuality or some other sin, then that's a struggle. So he's saying that. You know, we're not going to like push him away and stuff. So that's a good statement. That's a right. That's correct statement. No, I'm comparing a sin to a sin. I'm not comparing the person. But it's a sin in your view. You guys hear that? Sin to a sin. He said it clearly. It's a sin. So does it? Does that sound like a person who agrees with LGBTQ or someone who disagrees with it? I'm well, struggling with well, sexuality. If, it, if a person's well, having an affair, it's a sin. If a person's having a premarital intercourse, it's a sin. The theology of Islam is not going to change. Same sin. Mashallah, do you hear that? The um, theology of Islam will not change. So meaning that the beliefs will not change. It. It's a sin, it's a sin. Mashallah. So he's very clear on his stance. Uh, just carry, carry on watching what he says. Uh, if he was against it, then we would refute him. Definitely refute him. Because then he's going against something clear in the Quran and stuff. But he is clearly telling you it's a sin. Is something haram. Unions are an immoral issue. Whether political freedom is given to them or not, I actually agree with Linda here is that I understand the American government should not be in the job of policing morality. But do you that see doesn't how, change do you the, see how that's the, So, so do you hear that he goes that the American government should not be uh, policing morality? Now, this is a nuanced point. Uh, so the way they, the, uh, the way he sees it, and uh, there's another uh, Muslim. He's called Jonathan Brown. He had an interview with uh, Muhammad Hijab. I'll attach that to the description. And in that uh, interview, they discussed like uh, whether the American government should intervene within, uh, like to intervene and stop LGBTQ, for example, their teachings and stuff, or their movement or in in like, uh, um, like you know, just their movement and stuff. And so they they their view is that they shouldn't intervene. 
the reason why it's not it's not that okay it's uh, halal to do it so you they should intervene the reason is because if they intervene then they'll intervene in other areas so now they make a strong case for this that they say look if if the policy is going to be there then they can s slowly extend it to other places or there'll be a like a ambit or like a room for in, in, like basically restricting islam for example because what's the if they stop that then what's the difference for them to stop the islam for example and the restrictions on islam so th that's their position. I mean, obviously, I I take I rather take the different position. I rather <laughs> let them go against uh, let the government go against the uh, LGBTQ and uh, restrict them in their po in their rights in terms of public rights and stuff. And um, and then when it comes to the Muslims, we'll deal with it then. But that's the way I look at it, right? So obviously, I'm, I don't live in America. I don't know the circumstances. Um, but uh, this is their position. Now this position doesn't nullify their faith because they still re recognize the immoral but they're saying that how should the government approach it to not have a major backlash or major uh, greater um, greater harm so it doesn't lead to a greater harm this is how they're looking at it you can disagree with it but you cannot say this is uh, uh, you can't say this is disbelief because some people have suggest, su like suggested this like this guy is uh, supporting homosexuality and you can either say this is a sin because it's a valid difference of opinion because it's got to do with uh, politics and um, he moved away from the area of religion for when, he, when he was talking about this he's talking about the country, the western country and their policies so that's uh, that policies you have to analyse which policy is the best so that's how he's looking at it uh, hopefully that's clear but let's finish this clip you say they're welcome in your mosque, but they're welcome as sinners, and that might well, people no, not feel not very our, welcome. It's not our, it's not our uh, job to judge others. I'm willing to allow them their rights. Are they willing to allow me my rights? When you say you're willing to allow them their rights, their political mean, rights. You their support, so you right. support same-sex marriage? I support the notion that the American government is not in charge of morality. Okay, so you're not opposed very, to same-sex marriage? Politically, yes, but, le but morally, I, I, I don't so do you guys hear that? So he says morally I don't agree with it. So same sex marriage I don't agree with it. Morally meaning that it's haram and it's a sin. However politically I don't want the government to get involved. So that's a, that's a very nuanced point. Now don't let anyone try to deceive you and try to say look it's one and the same. It's very nuanced in uh, what he's trying to say there. But as a law of the land you're not I agree. I, yeah, of course not. No. Okay that should be clear inshallah. So let's, uh, they shouldn't be. I don't. I can't think of anything else that they have, like the Salafis or uh, these uh, other groupish kind of people. They brought up any other points, but th these were the main points that they brought up to me. This homosexuality was actually one of the points they brought up to me just last week, I believe. So I thought I thought I might do a video on this one.